the King James Bible, the Proverbs, chapter 16. The preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirits. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though, though a hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. By mercy and truth iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the Lord men depart from evil. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenues without right. A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. A divine sentence is in the lips of the king, his mouth transgresseth not in judgment. A just weight and balance are the Lord's, all the weights of the bag are his work. It is an abomination to kings to commit wickedness, for the throne is to establish by righteousness. Righteous lips are the delight of the kings, and they love him that speaketh right. The wrath of the king is the messengers of death, but a wise man will pacify it. In the light of the king's countenance is life, and his favor is a cloud of the latter rain. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold, and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver? The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. He that keepeth his way preserveth his soul. Pride goeth before destruction, and haughty spirit before a fall. Better it is to be of a humble spirit than the lowly than with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. He that handleth a matter wisely shall find good, and whoso trusteth in the Lord, happy is he. The wise in heart shall be called prudent, and the sweetness of the lips increaseth learning. Understanding is a well, wellspring of life unto him that hath it, but it, the instruction of fools is folly. The heart of the wise teacheth his mouth, and addeth learning to his lips. Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul, and health to the bones. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. He that laboreth, laboreth for himself, for his mouth craveth it of him. An ungodly man diggeth up evil, and in his lips there is a burning fire. A forward man soweth strife, and a whisperer separateth chief friends. A violent man enticeth his neighbor, and leadeth him into the way that is not good. He shutteth his eyes to devise forward things, moving his lips he bringeth evil to pass. The hoary head of the crown of the glory, if it be found in the way of the righteousness. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city. The lot is cast into the lap, but the whole disposing thereof is of the Lord. <coughs> Chapter 17 Better is a dry morsel in quietness therewith than a house full of sacrifices with strife. A wise servant shall have rule over a son that causes shame, and shall have part of the inheritance among the brethren. The finding pot is for silver, and the furnace for gold, but the Lord trieth the hearts. A wicked doer giveth heed to false lips, and a liar giveth ear to a naughty tongue. Whoso mocketh the poor reproacheth the, his maker, and he that is glad at calamity shall not be unpunished. Children's children are the crown of old men, and the glory of children are their fathers. Excellent speech becometh not a fool, much less do lying lips a prince. A gift is a precious stone in the eyes of him that hath it, whithersoever it turneth to it prospereth. He that covereth a transgression seeketh love, but he that repeateth the matter separateth very friends. A reproof entereth more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. An evil man seeketh only rebellion, therefore a cruel messenger shall be sent against him. Let a bear robbed of her whelps meet a man rather than a fool in his folly. Whoso rewardeth evil for good, evil shall not depart from the, his house. The beginning of strife is as when one letteth out water, therefore leave off contention, before it be meddled with. He that justifieth the wicked, and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abomination to the Lord. Wherefore there is a price in the hand of the fool to get wisdom, seeming he hath no heart, heart to it. 
A friend loveth thou at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. A man void of understanding striketh hands and becometh surety in the presence of his friends. He loveth transgression that loveth strife, and he that exalteth his gate seeketh destruction. He hath a forward heart, findeth, findeth no good, and he that hath a perverse tongue falleth into mischief. He that begetteth a fool doth it to his sorrow, and the father of a fool hath no joy. A merry heart doth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. A wicked man taketh a gift out of the bosom to pervert the ways of judgment. Wisdom is before him that hath understanding, but the eyes of a fool are in the ends of the earth. A foolish son is a grief to his father, and bitterness to her that bear him. Also to punish the just is, is not good, nor to strike princes for equity. He that hath knowledge spareth his sword, and a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise, and he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. Chapter 18 through desire of through desire a man having separated himself seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom a fool hath no delight in understanding but that his heart may discover itself when the wicked cometh then cometh also contempt and ig and ig with ignominy reproach the words of a man's mouth are as deep waters and the wellspring of wisdom as a flowing brook it is not good to accept the person of the wicked, to overthrow the righteous in judgment. A fool's lips enter into contention, and his mouth calleth for strokes. A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are the snare of his soul. The words of a talebearer are as wounds, and they go down into the innermost parts of the belly. He also that is slothful in his work is, bought, is brother to him that is a great waster. The name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous runneth into it and is safe the rich man's wealth is a strong city and in a high wall in his own conceit but before destruction the heart of a man is haughty and before honor is humility he that answereth a matter before he heareth it it is folly and shame unto him the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity but a wounded spirit who can bear the heart of the prudent getteth knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. A man's gift maketh room for him, and bringeth him before a great man. He that is first in his own cause seemeth just, but his neighbor cometh and searcheth him. The lot causeth contentions to seeth, and parteth between the mighty. A brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city, and their contentions are like the bars of a castle. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruits of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor of the Lord. The poor useth entreaties, but the rich answereth roughly. A man that hath friends must shew himself friendly, and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. <clears throat> 